Xerox transfers, using laser toner images to transfer designs with underglaze. The image used must be strictly black and white with no gray tones. What is white on your printed image will be colored in the final product. The technique only works with prints made with toner, not ink. So you must use either a Xerox copier or a laser printer, not an inkjet printer. If the image that you have is black on a white background, you will want to invert it. The easiest way to do that is to use Photoshop. Go to Settings, Adjustments, and then Invert. Or Command-I or Control-I, depending on if you have a Mac or a PC. What this will do is turn everything that was black white and white black. As you're selecting images, you want images that have medium-sized white spaces. Large white spaces will show all of your brush strokes. The little tiny lines and dots can be hard to get underglaze to stick to without getting stuck to the toner. First, you will paint your underglaze on the copy. Because toner is plastic, the underglaze will roll off the places that have toner. Once the underglaze is completely dry on the paper, you can transfer it to a leather hard clay surface. You have some choices on how to do that. Here, I'm using a damp sponge on the back of the piece of paper to transfer the underglaze. I'm doing this on top of some transfers that have already been done. So you can make layers of these. If you are doing layers like I'm doing here, you'll need to be careful that you're not messing up the first layer. After I got the paper wet, I'm using a rubber rib to make sure that the paper is very stuck down to the clay surface. So the main thing here is that you need to make sure that there's a sort of a sticky contact between your transfer and the clay. You could also get the clay damp and rub it with your finger to make some slip on the surface of the clay. That can also work to transfer the underglaze, or you could paint another color of underglaze on the surface of your leather hard clay. Let it dry for a little tiny bit until it's not quite as shiny, and then stick your Xerox transfer down onto that. Any of those methods will transfer the underglaze from your Xerox copy or laser print onto the clay surface. Once you've finished making sure that it's really stuck down to the clay surface, you'll want to let it sit for a while. This is me peeling off the first layer of transfers. You want to let it sit for quite a while. If you're too eager, some of the toner may get stuck on the clay, as you see here. I was rushing this for this demo. Not a big deal. You can pick off the toner if it does happen, as I'm doing here. Any little bits of extra paper can be picked off. I'm just using a needle tool to do that. You can peek and see how well the transfer is working. And if some of the image didn't transfer, as long as you haven't peeled off the image all of the way, you can push it back down again and burnish it a little bit with maybe the back of your thumbnail or a rubber rib, and then look again and see if you've managed to transfer more. So as long as you don't peel off the transfer all the way, you can try to fix things. You could even if it seems like maybe it just wasn't sticky enough, go back over the back of it with a damp sponge again to see if you can get more of the underglaze to transfer. Again, this technique is only good for black and white images, no gray tones. It does reverse whatever you are transferring, so if you're transferring text, you'll need to print it out in reverse. And this is what you'll get in the end.